This live. Hi, Jessica. Amy, it was actually one of those child predator vigilante groups that caught the 27 year old originally. He thought he was chatting, allegedly, of course, sexually with a 13 year old girl. And when he showed up for that meetup, he didn't get what he uh, thought he was going to get. Same story every time. That's all you gonna do. Then what you come to do, cuz? But text messages say otherwise, allegedly from Sanan Kalmesh to a 13-year-old female decoy. He is 27. The cell phone is like the new white van. With the, with the guy with the candy in it and stuff, that, that's this now. Robert Lee and the group Dads Against Predators in their latest sting, luring would-be child predators on chat apps. This time, the app Meet Me, a sample of their alleged explicit messages, shows clearly he knows the decoy is 13, but then sends a shirtless pic and discussions about what they do after meeting up in the pop aisle at this Harrison Township Kroger this month. Who you me? Nobody. Nobody? Yeah. Oh, like everybody else, he said he didn't he didn't know the girl was 13. He didn't come to do anything. And then uh, he panicked and he he ran off. You're pedophile! Pedophile! In the recording, he'd tell the vigilantes that he was only meeting up with the girl to tell her to leave him alone. Eventually, he'd call the cops on himself. How's it going, fellas? Pretty good, man. An investigation by the Macomb County Sheriff's Office led to six felony charges for child sexually abusive activity and using a computer to commit a crime. I can appreciate anybody that wants to go ahead and protect children. Why wouldn't we? Macomb County Prosecutor Peter Lucido backs the vigilantes but urges caution. I know the, the predators in all forms. We first introduced you to Robert last year after his sting led to charges against an Oakland County Sheriff's deputy who's since been fired. Investigators say the 33-year-old former deputy was negotiating sex acts with Robert, posing as a 15-year-old girl on the app Whisper. They're lurking around on the internet, they're lurking around on video games or anything that your kids can be contacted on. Now, Kalamish got a $20,000 bond with 10%. We did do a search of court records, at least locally, and he does not have any priors. Reporting live, Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News. Jessica, we heard uh, Prosecutor Lucido support this kind of action, but also sort of warning to be careful, because uh, I would imagine you never know what you're going to get yourself into. Although it doesn't sound like these vigilantes are going to give up anytime soon. I don't think so. We've seen these groups pop up the last couple of years. They're very dedicated. A lot of them parents. We've heard it from uh, Peter Lucido, other law enforcement uh, telling folks, you know what, get law enforcement involved as early as you can. Even the meetup is a little questionable because you never know what could happen. Absolutely. All right. Thank you so much, Jessica Dupnak. As always, we appreciate you.